ladies and gentlemen amanya gange nzetende namgera mpeledwa nyo mukisa to be here today um so as it's unusual it's a, it's a, it, I'm, a, I'm a guest on the on this youtube channel um the it's um the page belongs to my to my to my sister pastor sara luvoyera and pastor sara luvoyera is my big sister eh? she she's my she's not only my sister she's my mentor she's my role model and i very much look up to her i thank her for this opportunity uh of me being here today and as we enter into the word of the lord uh i just want us to take a few moments of worship and prayer as we prepare our hearts to listen to the lord and uh, receive from him um so we're going to uh, go to gena gena mo olimba um oruganda lugamba okwagala ko kumpiti liteko ngakunji ngakunji nyo okwa kuleta kunsi kuno okutupirida omsai gwa yiwa ekolokosa okokwe kumkuma ulijo okokwe kumkuma labayon tambulan tambulan gasitya olvom sayo gwaika na tu kulada echigambo cho yesu mwemuli amani agoge gankuma ulijo agoge gankuma la bayon tambula tambula ngasitya olvom sayo gwaika na tu kulata echigambo cho yesu mwemuli amani agoge gankuma ulijo agoge gankuma heavenly father we want to thank you for this day we want to thank you for for this time that you have given us father lord to hear from you father we thank you for your grace we thank you for your spirit to kweva za ayo mwemu tukuvu gwa atusobosezza atusobosezza okubera wano linako lwalero kabaka waba kabaka tujja maso gonga tukusabo tusasulo tusonyo obutali bitukirivu wa fe mukama tukwaniriza mu kifo kino mukama nga tugenda okuwulize okuwulize okuva joli kabaka ka tukusaba gula we mitima ja fe gula wa matuga fe bikula maso ga fe kabaka waba kabaka okutegera okusukuluma ku kuntegera ya fake ai katondo wa manyo moyo mtukuvu tukusaba jango tusomese ekigambo mukama jagendo tuwo tuyamba ai kabaka wa bakabaka tubelenge nsigo ezagwa mutake jimo ai kabaka wa kanchi ekigambo cho wechinagwa wechinagwa mbula mbwafe chikule chibale bibala ebirunja ai mukama kabaka wa ka tusobolen okukula mu moyo tusobolo kola nga boyagala ai katondo mulunje ekitibwa netendo tuchidi tuchidiza gwe kabaka wa bakabaka amen uh, so ladies and gentlemen welcome 
welcome again to Vanity Zanyo Nate Kweno um, YouTube YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Amanya Gange again the tend on Namugera uh, and my young sister to Pastor Sarah Luera. And um, I think um, again I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be here. And you'll excuse me and extend a little grace. I've never I've never done this before. It's my first time to be to be to be on live, to be on camera. But but I pray that the Lord helps me helps me throughout and guides me. So the topic for today, as you've seen, uh, is growing spiritually, and the subtopic of that would be overcoming spiritual blindness or destruction in order to advance spiritually. Nenda uh, chidam to overcoming spiritual blindness or overcoming blindness or destruction in order to advance or mature spiritually uh, advance or to grow so to advance <coughs> you forgive me i'm going to use mainly i'm going to use mainly english but i'm going to throw in some luganda somewhere uh, uh my sister sarah gave me allowed me to be comfortable uh to use to use the language I'm, I'm 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 a bit more comfortable with which is english but i'm going to but i'm going to try and to incorporate luganda um so what i was trying to say is advancing spiritually so what is what so what is it what does it mean to to advance or to grow spiritually um i mainly based on the word advance because it has a, a more profound meaning which is to move forward in a purposeful way and purposeful would be another word for purposeful would be intentional or um, having or sh sh having and showing determination so to advance spiritually would mean to move your spiritual life forward in a way that is intentional or in a way that is purposeful and uh, but the issue we face uh, as Christians and this is where the the blindness or the distraction comes in is that we focus more on advancing physically rather than spiritually so um to 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 lay that to say that again is um ensonga ensonga weja obuzibu webuja is that nga nga as Christians, angaba locally, we uh, sometimes we we tend to we tend to focus more on on, on advancing physically that, rather than advancing spiritually, and it be, it is because it is the normal it is the normal standard of, of the earth it is the normal standard of the world that we live in, um, <coughs> right from right from the time that you bathed. Uh, you 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 have these dreams of 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 becoming something, becoming great. Um, you you're expected to move from one level to another. If it is school, you're expected to 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 rise from. Uh, for example, here in Uganda, you're expected of from P1, P2, P3, P4. In the end, you're expected to to become an. Um, and, and, and adults I normally move uh, for for let's say get married Zimbe Nyumba and all that and and all that so uh, it being the normal sometimes it being the the normal standard of the world that we are in sometimes we are we are more to to equip than new side your physically rather than spiritually and for example you'll find you'll find someone setting a five-year plan 
uh, you uh, from uh, five year goal for example what what um what am i going to be five years from now you find someone making research on how to on how to uh live a healthy life on how uh, someone going to the gym daily to be physically fit um someone uh, uh, people ha- work extra hard to become rich and uh, to gain material um material wealth and uh, and term it as success um people read kind all kinds of books uh on how to become successful and how to become rich and people go extra lengths to make their physical life uh abundant or or like great or successful uh according to the standards of the world and and people very much are often bothered when they, there comes about a stagnancy in their physical life. Like, oh, I want to be you need a new mo 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 go ba let's say mo go ba gaga mo go ba popularity mo go ba attractiveness and oh mo go ba let's say promotions at work and just in general or ad- advancing your life physical no lavanti i'm i'm not where i was yesterday so <clears throat> at least yesterday nowadays let's say nowadays a sales person to then the manager to then the ceo like that about to change you and i'm not saying that that is bad i'm not saying at all that it is bad but what sometimes it does is it blinds us or it distracts us from from the spiritual from our spiritual life noticing that our spiritual life is not moving at the same pace as our physical life um going back to what i was saying is that people people are very much bothered by have by have facing stagnancy in their physical life or or go to such say that in your there, there are sometimes in your physical life in game better um in better to teach you let's say you're you're married and now as a as as the standard process of 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 life of or of advance as the standard process of advancing we expect you to be having children to maybe be having children but now ogezeza ko kufuna abana bile medwa so so somehow you your 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 physical life seems to be at, at a stagnant or um obade kumulimo for a very long time at a certain position bako bako at a certain position and you and you feel like you worked hard to okuvao but you you that is where you are or you are business person or while while was sent a zoya galo attaining a name for a very long time you've been making let's say two million a month and this usually bothers us as human beings when you see your life is not moving forward physically but the 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 funny thing i should say or or the the sad thing uh, as i should say is as as christians we don't give that much attention to our spiritual life um like for example you want you want be bothered um you want um you're going to be bothered by your life being spiritually stagnant uh sorry by your life being physically stagnant ngawe kugambye obadde kumulimbanga dene you're not getting a promotion obo uh, 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 for a very long time to zala olabo bulamu tebuli mukola chite muli mkwe yongera ko bwa you've been single for too long or too jobless for too long your 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 physical life is being stagnant and it's it's it bothers you but many times uh, as christians we 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 become comfortable with a stagnant spiritual life for example 
that um, pastor Tom usually tells us about church goers uh, when for you your lifestyle as a Christian is to go to is going to church only on Sunday and the rest of your the rest of, of your life is focusing on your on physical advancement or physical growth uh, and then you give and you give God one one day of the week which is Sunday and you 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 see your life your spiritual life be stagnant like that is where you are son you just go to church sunday come back do the rest of the things do the do rest of your stuff the the, the entire week and come back sunday many sometimes and uh, in fact many times uh, as christians we don't notice that until uh, we are faced with problems and uh, that is when we remember that oh my spiritual I, I need to 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 grow spiritually or I need to seek the Lord more in order to 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 overcome this issue but if we only knew that in a real sense the spiritual world influences the sp the physical life like um, in in the real real the real reality obla o ense yomo yo ye influencing a nc e yomo bidi so amanyi go wo gate um focus yo wo jiteka nyo mukukula physically and you ignore your spiritual life or not a disako manyi manyi nga go teka on your physical life you're going to find your, yourself in an imbalance because uh totegede that it is the spiritual life that affects your physical life uh um what i wrote to mean this is the quality of decisions you make physically is influenced by the quality of your spiritual life uh, we all know that you can make one decision and it is going to change the rest of your life or the decisions you make um, the small decisions you make each and every day sum up to make uh, uh, to bring a result which is a um, lifetime for example if you are a lazy person uh, you, you know it all you, if, you, if you're lazy now it all it all didn't start like that it may be started with Ah, I'm going to I'm going to sleep a little bit longer. Oh, I don't feel like doing this. And all those de all those decisions accumulated into you being lazy. And right now you're not able to achieve one of the greatest goals you want you 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 so you wanted to do or you saw yourself doing or you failed to do what the Lord has said what you know the Lord sent you to do on this in this world. But it all starts with a, a decision. So. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the quality of the decisions you make physically is influenced by the quality of your spiritual life. So if your spiritual life is weak, if your spiritual life is is damaged, is 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 not of good quality, it is going to reflect in the decisions of your physical life, and it is in in the long in the long run it is going to reflect in your physical life. Um, so the long-term things that happen to you physically are, are as a result of your spiritual life. Uh, some cases it can be short-term, but why I mainly stick to the long-term is because um, <clears throat> I don't want you to assemble. Oh, okay, maybe um, uh, bad things happen to those that are, that are not spiritually mature. <laughs> that is not true. Um, bad things can ha bad things can happen to 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 you but as a even even when you're spiritually mature um <clears throat> but uh, long term it being long term for example if it's um let's say a sickness or a death of your beloved more more go as a spiritual as a spiritually mature person the long term of that event is, is going to be different from someone who is not spiritually mature because 
as a spiritual as a spiritually mature person of course you're going to have the power of the spirit to overcome that long term rather than someone who is not who is spiritually weak so that's why uh, that's why it bring that's why it brings me to say that the long term uh, the the long term things that happen to you physically are as, are as a result of your spiritual life even you may be having a spiritually weak life and you see that at the moment you're living a good life but the long term of that good life that good life cannot be there long term why because your spiritual life is too weak to sustain it i hope you understand me uh so not all bad things that and then uh that is why the bible says in psalms uh, 37 verse 1 we're going to read uh Um, some some thirty seven verse one says, Do not fret because of evil doers, no be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither and wither as the green herb. So what the Bible is trying to mean here is tewe gomba ngaba ntuba kola bi aba kola bibi oba and especially um these people that that are doing evil or um that are living um an intentionally sinful life there's 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 living a sinful life when you're struggling to get out of it but those that are living an intentionally sinful life and they look like they're prospering physically the bible says for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and we and wither as the green herb uh that's why it takes me back to to the long-term things that happen to you physically are a result of a spiritual life you may be living a good life right now and you're doing evil but your spiritual weakness is going to be is going to cause you to be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb long term um so what i'm trying to say is that not uh, and also um sorry i need you to understand that not all bad things that happen are bad sometimes it is good but it will only take a spiritually mature life for you to understand that um for example i had a a, a friend of mine that was trying to go to the u.s uh, not uh, this 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 is my pastor and he was giving us a testimony of um how he was coming his 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 whole process of, co of coming from uganda to the u.s and uh he he what uh, what i remember he told us is that god gave him a dream of him going to the u.s and starting a life in the u.s and he was too excited but uh, so he started telling <laughs> he said he he started living boastfully and gained pride and for god to to bring him back to the place where he wanted him to be he took two years before this ever manifested in the physical and it, during those two years he was being given a visa but he never had the money to get uh he had, he never had the money for a ticket to go to the usa and it's only when he reached it's only when he reached um a certain point before he got before he finally got a uh, money for for a ticket that he he realized that if god had uh, if god had allowed him to go when he um to go the time where he had that that very moment where he had given him the dream he'd be too prideful too boastful to 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 maintain and as christians you know uh being prideful and boastful is all is those are all qualities of spiritual weakness so sometimes uh, God will God will make you go through a certain uh, situation just to mature you spiritually or to 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 help you in any area of your life. So 
that that is why I say the things that happen to you physically as a result of your spiritual life, and if they are good, it is it is, it is as a result of your spiritual life. If they are bad, long term, yeah. Uh, so it brings me to to the next um, to my next point, which is our very essence um, is spiritual. We were only given the physical life to, in order to be able to interact with the physical world. Our reality is the, um, is the spiritual world, and we are only visitors on this earth. Uh, when God created us in Genesis, the Bible says that we were created in His very own image, and God God is spirit. So also us as humans, we are we are spirit, but we are only dressed in this physical in this physical body, so that we can be able to interact with this physical world and to and to do what the Lord sent us to do on this world. Otherwise, if we was otherwise at the end of your journey in this world, at the end of your assignment or when you die physically your spirit manifests and at that point you can no longer interact with the physical world but you remain the real you um but what happens is that the enemy blinds us from the real from from this realization or he makes us forget that life on earth is temporary and that your true identity is in the eternity or or the spiritual uh, world um, with uh, what happens we see that the enemy makes us focus on, on the enemy blinds us and or distracts us and in doing that we become focused on on being um, on the physical world for example we become more focused on being rich being uh, being more beautiful being more popular being more uh, more attractive and the sad thing is that all these things do not matter in the end but because we have been distracted from and we've been distracted or we've been blinded from from understanding that life on earth is temporary and the real us is the spiritual we are going to find ourselves focusing more on the physical life rather than the spiritual life um, which is the very true us now uh, to to sorry to move on to that uh, to add on to that story, we are going to read in Mark chapter 8 verse 36. I'm going to use my phone because it's a, a little bit quicker than than the than opening the physical Bible. So it's Mark 8 uh, verse 36. And, and it says, For what will it profit? For what will it profit a man? If he gains the whole world and loses his own soul, so the Bible says you cannot to, uh, serve two masters at a go. It is very, um, if we, it is very difficult for you to have. Um, there is there is wanting to to grow physically, but then there is being. <laughs> There's being too consumed by it or uh, drowning yourself in it. <clears throat> like what I've said, um, focusing on being, um, focusing on gaining material wealth or le gaining popularity or being more attractive. In the end, you're going to lose your soul. And the Bible says, what does it profit you if, um, if you gain the whole world and lose your whole soul? Because life 
life as we know life is not it is not, it, life life is life on earth is just temporary the world this world is not our home our true identity is is in eternity um the 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 very true the very true nature or the realness of life is in eternity it is not in the life that you live here so um no matter what you are in in this life no um you be you you be rich you be the most beautiful you be the most successful you be you be a doctor you whatever whatever you are here physically will not matter at the end of it or when it comes um when it comes to the to the end of your journey on this life because who you are here physically is not who you truly are what you truly are is your spiritual life and your spiritual life is the real real you um so when you grasp this truth you will stop about uh, you'll stop worrying about having it all on earth or being um very many times as humans we are, we are worried um let's say for example you're uh, you're a, um you you're 35 you're a 35 or 45 year old man and by by your 20s you had pictured to be in a, um um to be having a much better job by then to be having a much uh to be making much more money by then and right now you're not where you want to be understanding that your true identity is not this life and understanding that life is a temporary assignment is going to help you fix that mindset of 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 having it all on earth because it isn't what really matters the bible tell has told us that what does it profit for man uh, <clears throat> what um for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul um to continue with that um uh i i i i was meditating about that uh the the difficulty in 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 understanding this or in 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 understanding that life is 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 a temporary it's a temporary assignment it's a temporary stage of of our life cuz as christians being being on this world is is like being an it's like being an ambassador let's say being an, an ambassador of uganda to the usa when you go to the usa you're not a citizen of of us you may have the, you may have similar privileges or even more privileges than the citizens of that country but it will never make you the, it will never make you a citizen of, of what of of USA you're supposed to be you, you're like a messenger of your country you're an ambassador in that in that country and it it will take a certain period of time you'll be removed and another ambassador can come in so as christians we are also ambassadors of christ on earth so it is very it is wrong for us to 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 identify ourselves as our physical life and not as our spiritual life and with all the fascinating attractions the the mesmerizing media and the enjoyable experiences that are on earth today it is very easy to forget that the pers- uh, to forget that the pursuit of happiness or pleasure is not what life is all about like social media uh social media you no know, as as in in nakuzi you no know, um very many there there there's there's social media that what experiences means it is is really enjoyable 
um, going out with friends and uh, what going to beaches get all all those things that that can bring you pleasure and and happiness and traveling all of all of that uh as a christian you can get so consumed in that and it will be it becomes very easy to forget that life is not all about pursuing happiness and pursuing pleasure life is an assignment life is an assignment that god has given us as christians and at the end of life we have we give christ a report of what we have done on this earth but as i've said the the enjoyable experiences and and uh, family friends uh, the enjoyable experiences with family, friends, social media, um, and all other attractions of the world can make us forget that the, the real, the real purpose of life, which and and because of the standards of the world, we 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 often find ourselves thinking that pursuing happiness. Or pursuing pleasure is what life is all about and this uh, we find that it is not true at all um, so it uh, so here I wrote it is it, it is a fatal mistake to assume that God's goal for your life is material prosperity or popular success very um, as the uh, sorry it is a fatal mistake to assume that God's goal for your life is material prosperity or popular success as the world defines it. The abundant life has nothing to do with material abundance and faith. Let me first pause there. The abundant life, because we know the Bible, uh, the Bible talks about God will give, give um, as Christians, God will give us life in abundance. The abundant life has got nothing to do with material abundance. What the, Bible, what the Bible is uh, is is talking about is it's not having private jets and being too successful or being too popular. The Bible talks about spiritual abundance, and to continue on, its faithfulness to God does not uh, guarantee success in a career or even in ministry. Um, what what I'm why I'm trying to say, don't get me wrong, faithfulness to God, okubela faithful, momokama, it is not going to guarantee that you're going to go nations, or it, 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 is, it is not going to guarantee that you're going to die a rich person, or you're going to live richly the, the whole of your life. Um, as as Christians, very very many times we tend to focus on on temporary crowns, temporary like physical crowns. But what um what I said was faithfulness to God doesn't guarantee success in a career. So I don't want you to be um to seek God or to be faithful to God because you want to. You, you want to be promoted at your workplace or to, to be faithful or to seek God because you want to get married, you've been single to, for too long, you want to advance spiritually, I mean physically, because all that will not guarantee, um, it will not guarantee success in, in that. Um, to prove this to you, we know, we know, we've all, um, for, for those who read the Bible often, we see that many disciples of Christ did not end up, did not have a good ending, as as we can, as as the standards of the world would have it. Uh, we see that Paul was faithful, yet he ended up in prison. John the Baptist was faithful, but he was beheaded. beheaded. Millions of faithful people have been martyred have lost everything or have come to the end of life with absolutely 
nothing to show for it and these are people that served god and that sought the lord so it would be it is very spiritually uh young or spiritually weak of you to think that um <clears throat> your god's goal for your life is material prosperity or popular success or advancing or for you to advance physically uh, the Bible says in First Timothy six verse six, um, First Timothy six verse six that now godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction and, per and perdition. I think this Bible verse is very clear and it sums up most of what I've been trying to explain here that... Um, God's goal, God's goal for your life is, is not material prosperity. It is physical, pros, sorry, it is spiritual prosperity. It is spiritual maturity. So as Christians, we have, we, there is a, there is a very, uh, there is a huge need for us to, uh, um, to grow, to advance spiritually and um, in order uh, to advance spiritually or to uh, to mature spiritually and the advantage in, in maturing spiritually as i've told you is that your decisions your your phys, your decision the decisions in your physical life are are as a result of your spiritual life so meaning if you if you if you're living a spiritually mature life your physical life will have no option but to reflect well also so what i want uh us uh today uh and the what what the um god's main uh god's main will for us as as christians is to advance more spiritually more spiritually than physically is for us to focus more on advancing spiritually than physically and <clears throat> so how do you overcome this blindness or this this destruction that that the enemy places before us um and i say it by one is by by understanding that the the spiritual the spiritual life is 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 what influences your physical life and two it's by prioritizing your spiritual life before your physical life um matthew matthew chapter 6 verse 19 we are going to read from matthew chapter 6 verse 19 Um, and it says, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. To sum up this verse would be prioritize your spiritual life over your physical life. As a Christian, uh, to grow or to advance spiritually, you have to be keen on how you invest your time. And um, so, um, We, we 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 have got to learn as christians that you uh you start maturing spiritually by understanding that life on earth 
is, is a temporary assignment and it being temporary, it requires a wise use of your time. In order to be, uh, in order to, to, to mature spiritually or to be maturing spiritually as a Christian, you have to understand that life on earth is a temporary assignment. Stop, uh, stop um, being considered, ad identifying yourself as your, as, as, as your physical self and take life you have to take life as a temporary assignment, as the assignment that has been give, given to us, and it is temporary. And when you understand that, you also understand that it being a temporary assignment, it requires you to use your time wisely on this earth. And to use, to use, to, to go spiritually, um, to, to, use, to use your time wisely, in order to mature means you have to you have to invest your time in seeking the lord and so and to to um sorry to to explain more i want to explain more about time so the the time is 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 always moving forward and at every particular time you're doing something and time time is like investment a time is a linga capital now never go away a gala a change to take a more capital to you could design a goba so it is the same thing with time time is time is an investment and whatever you um you put you spend your time whatever you put your time into is always going to bring results whether they are good or whether they are bad um the the sad thing is usually um we we end up have we when we spend our time uh doing the wrong things we end up having alarming results rather than the beneficial results so that is why i i usually i i don't I don't go by uh, the phrase of uh, you've wasted my time. You cannot waste time. Time is always invested. Whether you've chosen to watch um, a movie instead of, instead of doing your job, uh, whether you've chosen to sleep instead of uh, doing what you're supposed to do, what you're, what you're doing that particular time is what you're investing in. And in the end, it is going to bring you results. So if you invest in sleeping, you're you're going to get the results of, of that particular thing. If you invest in, in in watching movies or in going out rather than doing other productive things, you're going to see the results of that. So t never whatever you should you you always have to know that whatever you spend every every second of your life matters because whatever you spend your time on is going to eventually it is a must for it to bring, to produce something and um with this with this understanding um i i, um, I wanted to say that maturing spiritually requires that you invest your time in seeking the Lord. It is the only seeking the Lord is the only determinant for growing spiritually or maturing spiritually, and it's because in seeking the Lord, uh, seeking the Lord, seeking the Lord is praying, reading the Bible, meditating on the Word of the Lord, and. Or okwea ula no no nyamu kama no saba no some chigambo che no uli dize chigambo che no soma u obutabo um and in in doing this seeking the Lord gives you the strength it can give you the strength to overcome to overcome challenges in life uh to overcome temptation to overcome sin uh seeking the Lord gives you wisdom. The Bible says that my my people.
perish because of lack of wisdom. Seeking the Lord gives you the power to do um, to do that that is right. When you um, when you're not seeking the Lord and you um, because not seeking the Lord equals a spiritually weak life. When you're not seeking the Lord, you will never have the power to do the will of the Lord. Because sometimes. Or most of the times, it is, the will of the Lord is difficult to do. Even small things that are like forgiving your, your someone that has wronged you, small things like like praying for someone that is persecuting you. It is it is not easy at all. They may look small, but they are very they are they are very difficult to do sometimes. So it will. Why they say it will take a spiritually mature person to do those things is because a spiritually mature person has invested their time in seeking the Lord and in doing so they've gained the power to forgive someone that has hurt them. They've gained the power to do the will of the, of the Lord. They've gained the power to use their talents and gifts on earth uh, as a contribution to the kingdom of the Lord. They've gained wisdom. Um, very many times, uh, we see we see great men and we see great men and women uh, of the Lord uh, that have wisdom or extra revelation, as we say, and we 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 are mesmerized. We 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 think sometimes we think they 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 just appear and don't act like that. We've, but it it no matter how great the talent um, God has put in you, if it is not combined with spiritual maturity, it can never yield results of greatness. So those people that we see or that we admire who are great, they've mastered the technique of seeking the Lord, and in um, in doing so, they've become spiritually mature. In doing so, that the Lord has given them the power to do great things. He has given them the power to, to do miracles. And it would be the very same thing that happens for you. It is the same case that would happen to you if you decided to invest your time into seeking the Lord. Uh, seeking the Lord gives you power. It gives you the power to fight spiritually. Some um you you're never going to win a battle with the enemy when you are spiritually weak, and you're you're never going to win a battle with the enemy. If you 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 may be physically rich, you may be physically attractive, and you're asking. Um, I'm going to I'm going to give an example. You may be physically attractive as a lady, but you failed to um, get into marriage. You failed to uh, to find that a, a man has failed to find you, and you're uh, you're you're asking yourself what is wrong, what is happening, and you're trying. You've you've tried all physical ways of of of, of making yourself right. If it is makeup, you've 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 bought all kinds of all kinds of brands. If it is uh, looking, making sure you you know the right clothes, you've all you've you've got all kinds of clothes, all nice clothes. If it is where to meet the 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 good gentlemen, you've gone the places. Um, but. You see, the problem now is that you're focusing on your physic. You're focusing very much on your physical life, and you're you you've forgotten that your spiritual weakness, your your spiritual weakness, is going to cause a result, a certain result in your physical life. So if you don't give attention to your spirit, maybe you may be physically attractive, but then you have the spirit of anger in you. And the spirit of anger is as a result of your spiritual weakness. You are, men will find you attractive, but it will never your it your process of dating or interacting with men would never lead to marriage because you've not um you've not 
you've not dealt with this spirit of anger you've not overcome it and it has been challenging for you to overcome because you're spiritually weak so i assure you even if you you uh you use all kind uh, all kind of physical wisdom to overcome that it it will not work until you give attention to your spiritual life and mature spiritually and that is how you you'll be able to overcome so i'm saying that seeking the lord gives you power to fight spiritually to overcome battles with the enemy um we cannot do it on our own it is only through the power of the lord that we can overcome the devil um pastor tom keeps telling us that um the enemy is very strong compared to us alone without god so you being spiritually weak you're not giving the lord enough room to work in you or to to fight whatever um what, to fight the plans of the enemy against your life um as as we continue um seeking the lord also opens up your spiritual ears and eyes the the bible tells us in job 33 verse 14 uh let's read job job 33 verse 14 says For God may speak in one way or in another yet man does not perceive it When you're spiritually uh weak the Lord is going to speak The Lord may speak to you through dreams uh through visions and you're not going to understand these things at all The Lord is going to the Lord may even speak to you while you're reading um while you're reading the bible listening to the sermon and you're not your your ears or your spiritual ears or your eyes will be blocked um your your eyes will not be open to revelation or to further understanding of god when you're spiritually weak so that is why i say that seeking the lord is going to it's going to open up um avenues of revelation in your life and you're going to see um maturity coming like that uh so on the topic on the topic of time eh, we're going to read from on on the topic of investing time in in seeking the lord we're going to read from second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 um second corinthians chapter 9 um verse 6 but this i say he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully so another perspective of this verse uh or an would would be so sowing represents planting and in this in this context of this topic planting is going to represent what you spend your time on okay so the seeds that you're planting are going to later mature into a fruit so the the process of planting uh, of sowing if you sow sparingly Uh, let's say if you um if you pla- if you if you're planting which is spending your time uh let's say you 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 spend your, spending your time reading the bible hmm? you're planting and you're planting the fruit of 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 the word of the lord into your heart sowing sparingly is going to lead you to to reap sparingly so what you're going to achieve from reading the word of the lord is going to de- is going to depend on the time you spend in it and 
for the, so if you for you to reap bountifully you also have to be spending um you also have to be sowing bountifully into your into the particular thing that you're trying to into the particular uh, thing you're trying to achieve then sowing also represents the things you plant in others uh, is it hatred is it love is it jealousy uh, is it doubt uh, all those things you are bound to reap them at some point the things that you sow um, the things that you sow into others you're bound to reap them uh, at a certain point uh, spiritually if you if you're someone that that that, that sows uh, hate into others you're you're contented or you're happy when you see people having an argument um you're bound to see the results of your activities or to reap uh, such things later later on in life so uh it brings us to to the next thing uh which was just like you are able to advance physically uh l let's say for example you going to the gym every day um your sp uh just like you're able to advance physically i'm talking physically i'm talking about your body body uh just like you're able to advance physically you're going to be your spiritual life advances daily with seeking the lord like if you if you go to the gym daily um every, to, to the gym every every day with time you're going to see yourself gain muscle or become more physically fit and it's the same thing that happens with your spiritual life the more you seek the lord that um the more you seek the lord daily you're going to eventually see your life mature spiritually for example if you could only run for 20 minutes on a treadmill in the gym or uh if you could if you could only run for for 20 minutes doing daily exercise um in the beginning uh you can you you find that let's say at the end of the month you're now able to run for like an hour it's the same thing that happens uh in our spiritual life maybe as you're starting up on this spiritual journey you're, you 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 can only do one day one day of, of fasting or one day of uh, sorry one day of, of fasting or 30 minutes of prayer i want you to i want to encourage you to do that because your um your you your doing that daily or you doing that daily is going to it's you're not going to be the same uh by the end of the month you may have started out uh being able to fast on the one day and by the end of uh, the month or at the end of two months you're going to be able to, to go three days of dry fasting or you're going to be able to go into two hours or three hours of prayer because just like i told you seeking the lord gives you the power to do things that you cannot do on your own because spiritual things or the will of the lord is too difficult for us as humans on our own to do that is why um jesus christ even in his even in himself being jesus went went on to pray to the lord to give him the strength to to go uh, to go to the cross so if jesus christ needed uh the grace uh, needed the spirit of the lord and needed the power to be able to do the will of the god who of, of the lord who are we as 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 normal people not to not to need uh the 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 power of the lord so i just want to encourage you uh the 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 main point is to is the main point is to start is to be intentional and it is to be consistent uh 
because of time uh, because of time I um but okay let, let's let's let, let's go there um we are reading for, from Matthew chapter 19 verse 23 um which says then Jesus said to his disciples assuredly I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven and again I say to you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God when his disciples heard it they were greatly astonished saying who then can be saved so uh, here the Bible is giving us a clear example of, of, of a thought that very many times uh, as Christians we have. Sometimes you can go through the Bible and you see a, a huge set of requirements that the Lord has for us as human beings. And you're like, eh, who will make it to heaven? Now these things that, who can surely live the kind of life that God is? that God requires of us because honestly there are very many things that he does require of us and they are not easy for us to do but um, Jesus uh, goes on to say uh, in verse 26 but Jesus looked at them and said to them with men this is impossible but with God all things are possible that is why I started out with saying in the beginning that seek the Lord invest your time in seeking the Lord he's the only one that can give you the in the the power to do things that are not easy to do to do his will um, to put it plainly and then in also in Isaiah 40 verse 28 um, Isaiah 40 verse 28 it says have you not known have you not heard the everlasting God the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth neither neither faints nor is weary his understanding is unsearchable he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength so you might be there and you've, you've, you've been like many of us. Your life has been, your spiritual life has been really weak. And you've been focusing most on advancing physically or uh, growing physically, becoming more successful. But, you've forgot, but at this moment you realize that your, your, uh, your spiritual life being weak. It is affecting you um, in many areas of your life, but you don't. You, you, even you yourself, you're weak. Tomani wa kutani kida over toina mani ganonya mukama. It happens to the best of us. Uh, I just want to encourage you that um, the word of the Lord of the Lord has said, He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. As long as you show, as long as you show a desire uh, to to seek the Lord, I encourage you to to go to the Lord in prayer and ask and uh, spare a few minutes. So usually, uh, many Christians sometimes we are faced with a challenge. Many times as Christians we are faced with a challenge of prayer, uh, but you can go go into prayer and ask the lord to help you overcome the challenge of uh, of not being consistent in in prayer personally me as a person uh i used to i used to face a challenge of 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 prayer of being consistent in prayer like praying every day uh but one trick that i did for myself was i found i i, lo I love worshiping the lord and for me it came easy like worshiping singing see worship songs it ca it it came easier for me before it ca it came easy for me than prayer so uh what what helped me is 
So I decided every day that every day that I wake up, even if um, even if I don't have the immediate words to say for a prayer, no matter if if I'm when with whichever point that I feel I have to pray, where whenever I don't feel the immediate words of prayer, at least I'm going to go into a song of worship, and what what helps me is that I find myself drawn into prayer somehow because as you know as you're worshiping and meditating about the goodness of the lord and the good things that he has done and his might uh you 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 find yourself wanting to speak more than what the worship song is letting you say and you and somehow i find myself drawn into prayer so when you wait Techniques like this are going to are, are going to they can help you to to seek the Lord and I've also said that in seeking the Lord you get the power to do things that are, are difficult for your for your flesh and seeking the Lord gives you um, gives you the opportunity to be more powerful than your flesh to be more powerful than your flesh. Uh, because we all know that focusing more on the flesh is, will in the end lead to destruction uh, if you've ignored your spiritual life. Uh, now, here I say, when you hop off uh, the, the wagon of seeking God, your focus is driven elsewhere, and that elsewhere won't produce the good fruits that you are looking for. Uh, if, if you've been... If you've been seeking the Lord, if you've been seeking the Lord and investing your time in seeking the Lord, uh, and then you find yourself uh, joining to things of the world or being attracted to the things of the world or gaining familiarity and friendship with the things of the world, uh, it is it is going to drive your focus away from from what really matters. And your focus is going to be it's going to be driven into the world or driven elsewhere and I assure you that that elsewhere where your focus has been driven is not going to uh, produce the good fruits that you're looking for that is why your your let's say your your you're going to start drinking let's say drinking alcohol or drinking or taking drugs in pursuit of, of a certain kind of pleasure in pursuit of a certain kind of happiness but in the end in the real yeah, in the end the real truth is you're not going to get that fruit of happiness that you've been looking for uh, and your your life in the end is just going to go down a, a destruction and your spiritual life is going to become weaker in the sense. So I just want to encourage you to stay um, seeking the Lord, to stay um, advancing spiritually, focusing on going spiritually more than going physically. I'm not saying that it is bad to, uh, to, to have goals. or I'm not saying it is bad to want to be successful in physically but it is bad if you if your focus is more on that than on your than on your spiritual life because in the end your true self is not going to uh to gain the ganyul worm the bible has told us what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose their entire soul and lastly i want to end with the verse or uh with the verse of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 and this as we all know says but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you um, and here the Lord was talking about the things ab so if you've gone if uh, when you read the verses above this uh, the Lord is talking about um, pro being 
providing for us as humans uh not you know not worrying about what you eat or what you dress that the lord that provides for the birds in the sky is this very someone that can provide for you because you're even much more valuable to him than they are but uh he points out something important here which is to seek first the kingdom of the lord and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you so as a so as a wise christian it would be very wise of you to seek first the, the kingdom of the lord to focus more on maturing spiritually and growing spiritually and this um this is going to reflect in your physical life because the father uh, promises us that after you you you're done with this all these things shall be added to you so in conclusion when you mature spiritually your your physical life has no option but to follow when your when your spiritual life is maturing um and getting to a certain point where god wants it to be your physical life will have no option but to follow the direction your spiritual life is following in so i don't want you to be disturbed i don't want you to be worried that oh my physical life is not moving forward i'm not moving from this job i'm not seeing an advancement physically focus on your spiritual life and you're going to and you're going to see god move your physical life you're going to see him give you peace that surpasses human understanding you may be going through a particular situation in life and it is putting you down but when you focus spiritually and leave the focus on more spiritually and leave the physical part you're going to find yourself walking through that uh, that situation with strength with power that surpasses human understanding you're going to find yourself walking on water that is or walking on a rough sea because you are not alone you have the uh, the spirit of the lord in you who is stronger than he who is in the world thank you very much for listening to me uh, i remain tend on amgera i send you things to my uh, sister pastor sara lovera and her husband thank you for this opportunity i've i've had to 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 preach um i also send greetings to pastor tom mugera and justin to and justin mugera my father and mother who have sold this seed into us and have have trained us uh and encouraged us uh into becoming uh servants of the lord like they are um have a good evening uh oh um before i go out let me let me say let me say a short prayer as i conclude this and um let you go uh for those for those uh, sorry for those who have li- been listening to me and um, and you've loved this message you've been in ca- you you out there you've never given your life to christ and at this moment you want to give your life to Christ and accept Jesus to be your personal savior i want you to repeat these words with me and i i know that as we've talked about your spiritual life be, uh be, being your your physical life being a reflection of your of your spiritual life with you accepting Jesus as your lord and savior trust me that your life is not going to stay, is not going to stay the same uh so be encouraged to repeat these words with me dear heavenly father uh i'm here today uh thank you for thank you for my life thank you for thank you for your son jesus christ i'm here today oh lord to give you my life to give you my spirit to give you my soul lord that you may become the lord over my life i accept you jesus christ to be my lord and savior thank you for dying for me on the cross i open up my heart today oh lord to receive you 
I ask you, O oh Father, to remove my name from the book of the dead and write it in the book of life. I pray, O oh Lord, that you gift me with the gift of your Holy Spirit, that I may be able to live righteously and to do that that you and to do that that you have sent me to do on this earth that at the that that at the end of my journey on this earth i may be worthy of entering heaven and spending eternity with you in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen um i i I'm happy and we thank the Lord for everyone that has given their life to Jesus Christ. And a prayer for, for the message that we've had today, dear Heavenly Father. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you have given us today. We thank you, O Lord of Lords, for the eyes that you've opened and the ears that you've opened, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your word, for you have said in your word that your word is sharper than a double-edged sword separating between soul and spirit. We are confident, Father, Lord, of all, that this word is going to change us and this word is going to, to help us move from, from, from whatever stages we were in life and it's going to move us to a greater level, O oh Lord, oh Father. We pray, King of Kings, that you give us the power you give us the strength to seek you, O oh Lord, to invest our time in seeking you, O oh Father, that we may mature spiritually, Lord of Lords. Help us not to be stagnant spiritually, but to advance, to, to advance, O oh Lord of Lords. Help us to be focused on, mat on maturing spiritually more than um, advancing physically, O oh Heavenly Father, and give us the strength and the power to do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Lord, I pray for each and every one that is out there, that is starting on their journey of spiritual maturity, Lord, I pray that you send them your Holy Spirit to guide them, your Holy Spirit to teach them, for where they do not know, there are very many, uh, very many of us who do not know where to start from, but we want, we want more of you, O oh Lord, and our hearts are yearning for, for, uh, more spiritual maturity father lord we pray that you grant us your holy spirit to teach us to guide us to to be with us oh heavenly father we give you glory and we give you honor father lord because we know that you have heard us and that you are going to do that that we have asked for because you have said in your word that seek first the kingdom of my lord